I found myself multiple times waking up or, you know, walking out of the school late at night and just cracking a smile as I'm walking out like, wow, like I'm, I'm here, I'm, you know, in med school. The volume of work, it gets dampened by the excitement of being in medical school for me. You're gonna have a lot of really difficult days from what I hear, but at the same time, material we're learning and knowing where we're gonna end up is making the journey worthwhile. I think the first thing that surprised me was just how welcoming and helpful the M2s have been for the M1s. They've really gone above and beyond uh, reaching out to make sure that our first week has gone well, providing resources for things that worked well for them when they were in their first year, and just making us feel like we're part of the Geisinger family. One piece of wisdom that I would share with next year's uh, incoming class is it's never too early to start getting ahead. While I understand that everyone has their own study strategies and different things work for different people, I found it very helpful to be able to try to do the podcast for the upcoming week ahead on the weekend. So that way it primed my brain for the topics that were coming for this upcoming week. And it also gave me some time to do things outside of the classroom, such as going to the Jewish Community Center to play basketball, go to trivia nights with some of my classmates, and just kind of have that balance of school and social. I think I'll have a lot more to say at the end of the year. We've been in the classroom for a lot of hours getting ready for this first exam. I think everyone's got first exam jitters at a new school with a new professor. So uh, this being the first week of our first exam, everyone's kind of doing their due diligence of making sure they put in as many hours as they can to prepare. So 2020 did not go the way that I thought it was going to. So I'm here at my residence in Scran, which has transitioned into my classroom for the second half of the spring semester. It's where I had to do all of my studying, had to listen to my podcasts, had to do my interactive Zoom sessions with classmates and faculty, and it has been a vastly different experience than it was at the beginning of the school year. Transitioning to online education with the school has been pretty seamless. I think the school did a really good job of just moving everything online when they had to. To have live interactive Zoom sessions was kind of the new classroom where you could still ask questions with professors and still collaborate with classmates to try to work through problem sessions. We still had our weekly quizzes, which um, was nice that you could wake up and just take that first thing in the morning rather than having to get to school. I wanted to find a way to play my role in giving back to everybody. So the way that I've found that niche is being able to use my 3D printer to make those ear savers for uh, physician masks. So I've, to this point, made up 505 of them, and I've donated them to physicians in the Geisinger Health System, and they're just little ear savers that you can put, and they take the pressure off of the straps from being put on the back of your ears. I would say that the advice I gave them in the fall seemed to be pretty true for me. I definitely encourage staying ahead because the volume throughout the year gets larger and larger, so being able to keep yourself accountable and staying on task is something that will pay large dividends in the long run. Also, having a balanced social life with school is very important. I found that to be very true with uh, the quarantine and COVID because I just felt like there were certain days where I, I was going a little bit crazy just sitting at my desk all day long. So uh, having some sort of stress reliever, or even if you're jumping on a Zoom call with friends to talk about non-school related things, I think that was very helpful for me to be able to have that mental stability throughout the school year. It was a, a unique experience that I think will make us better in the long run because we had to deal with all this adversity while we were learning. And I think it just shows the resiliency of medical students to be able to power through and, and not let something like this interrupt our learning.